Yo dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jacksplate is back and today I want to do a quick video explaining something that a lot of people have been asking me about since Baki season 4 hit Netflix last month and since Netflix still hasn't added the first two original seasons of Baki where we followed him as a kid and saw him grow up and then find the maximum tournament, a lot of folks are confused what the demon back actually is that Yujiro activated during his fight with Kakukayo. And I know I literally bring this up every Baki video, I do, I know this, but I keep seeing comments that physically hurt my soul like yo jack is super strong too bad we never see him baki fight dog that literally was the ending of season two or man resu is so strong i wonder how a fight between him and baki would go it happened oh how did dopa lose his eye you fucking see it all right there's just so many things from seasons one and two that i just i can't i can't so just go watch those seasons if you can i believe they're all on youtube but like go check them out but Right now, let's just talk about the Hanma demon back slash ogre back that Yujiro, Baki, and other Hanma bloodline members are able to access. Now, it's not something anyone can get, and you most definitely can't get it through weight training, but that doesn't mean we can't give it a try, so hell, go give my Yujiro back workout I made two years ago a try. It worked pretty damn well for me. But the Demon Ogre back is pretty much a low-key transformation slash power-up that only people of the Hanma bloodline can activate during battle, and is said to be a bloodlusted demon possessing them before combat. And from the fact that we see Yujiro constantly make faces like this, and freaking Hanma brains look like they were molded by Grimm, his dead dad showed up to talk crap to him when him and Baki were fighting, and the fact that the ghost of Miyamoto Musashi was summoned from the afterlife to possess a clone body of himself and is now one of the most OP characters in the series, I can buy it. Now, the demon back was first demonstrated when Yujiro fought Dobo Orochi, and during the battle he began to start taking damage from Dobo until he saw his boy Baki walk in and he didn't want to look like a punk in front of his kid and he unleashed it. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Once unleashed, the demon back increases the user's strength, speed, stamina, durability, bloodlust, power, and also works as a mini Zenkai boost for all my DBZ fans out there, as it heals a body or makes all the injuries received prior to activation dissipate or just not be a hindrance during the confrontation. But as we saw with Baki fighting his father, if your opponent has a great deal more strength, then you ain't pulling that Saitama. Also, even though it's shown to revitalize the user once it's activated, it's a one-time thing during battle. It's not like you can just keep turning it on on and off mid battle to heal yourself like some video game potion. Also the revitalization isn't like oh you're immediately healed right after the battle. Like for example when Baki activated it during Jack Hanma because the fight was so tough and since his opponent was so strong even when he activated it post battle he was still exhausted like Jack had to help him up to like show oh you're this is your reward. So it's not like yo know, a senzu bean heal or something like that easily. It's just a way to get like more energy during the battle to help you get Get that edge over your opponent but afterwards it depending on how severe it was you may either be on the floor or you may be fine to walk away now Yujiro primarily activates his demon back when he's going in for the kill on a really strong opponent. So for example, he uses it on various large wild animals like a freaking mega elephant and polar bears and various other creatures just to show that he is the strongest creature in the world. But he also developed it during war and was able to spam it during war and was like constantly just killing tons of soldiers and just fodderizing the entire military by himself with it activated consistently. So there's another one for you. He also used when he attempted to finish off Dopo Orochi, as we mentioned earlier. And for my Netflix viewers who just recently saw it, yeah, he attempted to use it on Kakukayo. And well, he did use it, but he was going to finish him off until he pulled that slick shit. So, yeah, you know, that pretty much was just, uh, I, okay, I can't use it right now. But for Baki, it activates occasionally. Like for certain situations, because the first time he partially used it was against Retsu, and he lost control. Even Yujiro was saying that his Hanma blood is starting to boil right now, and what happened was he became more bloodlusted, and he lost control, and he nearly fully killed Retsu. Like he caused his neck to snap, and then the doctor had to come fix it into place, and it was just some Baki BS that they did. But uh, later on, he was able to harness and control a little bit to defeat his brother Jack. Or I wouldn't really say harness and control it, because what happened was... Was it activated during the final stretch of the match it wasn't like he was activating it the entire time of the match and also it activated during um, the fight with Yujiro and when he was just knocked on the freaking floor so it activates on instinct for Baki but then like you look at his grandfather and Yujiro's father Yuchiro like Yuchiro like this is, I love the way you say his name it just sounds so cool Yuchiro but he activated it to slaughter tons of American soldiers with his bare hands and was just fodderizing 
an entire military by himself. And the thing is, here's a sad thing though, Jack Hanma, he sadly hasn't activated it yet. Now, here's my personal headcanon, I think it's because he does a lot of uh, medical things to his body, like surgical to enhance himself, like he takes a bunch of steroids, he has all these surgeries to make him taller, he does all these like unnatural things for his body to grow stronger, because like hell, beforehand he was like overtraining and was a skinny dude, and then he like got all the steroids and became like this mass beast and like just this monster but he is the only one unable to or hasn't yet like the thing is the baki manga is still ongoing like probably after this video comes out he might like have a thing if they want to put the shine back on him and go oh it activated for him but as of right now like there's nothing that may just go oh yeah his hanma back is right there so that it really depends on how they want to go about with the storyline or something like that. But it could be cool if, like, you know, Jack activated or something like that. Because, you know, he, he is a badass in his own right. But I think that would be even more badass, personally. Also, I'd be remiss to say this, but I'm pretty sure... I, this is just a headcanon, again, not confirmed. But I'd say Pickle is definitely, like, a Hanma ancestor. I mean, like, just my headcanon. Because, like, he looks so similar to, like, Baki in the face. And also, just, he has a demon-esque back and stuff like that. So, like, maybe that's just something... It could be a coincidence. It could be just that the times were different. Or a demon possessed him back in the day. I don't know. I'm maybe just talking right now. I just, I just think it's really cool. But I just wanted to mention that real quickly. Because I've always thought that about pickle as well so i just wanted to say that but anyways that has been my video for today i hope you enjoy it and i hope you learned something so please hit that like button down below and also leave me a comment and subscribe and let i upload a ton of videos or a ton of different content but here's just a serious thing that we have to talk about right now please if your friend suffers from lobs1 and lobs2 or lack of baki season one and lack of baki season two and they've only seen the netflix baki educate them that they are greatly missing out on two seasons that show why the series is called Baki. And you could save them from looking so, so ignorant in conversations. Do your part. And if you made it this far in the video, type hashtag ogre deficiency in the comments below to help spread awareness of LOBS syndrome. The show may be called Baki, but that means we should have each other's back eased. Really think about that dumb shit I just said. Have your Baki bros Baki eased. But honestly, if you've only seen the Netflix Baki, you miss out why the show is called Baki in the first place. So please check it out or just read the manga. Also, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I got a ton more content on the way. And check out some of my fitness programs down below to get a body like Baki and develop your own demon back or just any of my programs. They're weight training or calisthenic work. All of them are in the description box down below. And remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moment tie. Now go <laughs> help those who suffer from LBS syndrome.